This next episode of Georgia in Flight is about Grady Fasher, owner of the world's smallest airport. Henry Grady Fasher Jr. was born in 1917 and attended Brazelton High School in Jackson County. Fasher enlisted in the Army Air Reserve in 1942 and served as a flight instructor during World War II. After the war, he served as a flight instructor for veterans at the Athens Airport. Fasher and his younger brothers Bud and Tunis decided to open an aviation business. So they purchased Stay Plus airplanes and a 1946 Ford sedan. They founded the Fasher Brothers Aerial Circus and built a platform on top of their car. Called the world's smallest airport, the planes would take off and land from that platform. They practiced an abandoned airport in Elberton and first performed in Anderson, South Carolina. For the next five years, the Fasher Brothers Aerial Circus was a popular attraction across the country and they performed 378 times. They also performed with Walter Barham, a stuntman who would get out of a moving car and climb into the plane. In 1950, the Fasher decided to move on to more safer ventures. The planes were sold and the car was scrapped in 1951. Grady Fasher went to work for Southern Airways and worked in Alabama for the rest of his life. From 1976 to 1981, info and pictures about the Fasher's was on display at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum. In 2012, a documentary called World's Smallest Airport was made about the Fasher's Circus.